Hi Weber Grillers, I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. Rotisserie cooking provides golden brown caramelization along with self-basting which brings unbelievable flavors to the foods that we're cooking. So in this video we're going to walk you through how to set up and use a rotisserie on your Weber grill. We'd like to give you five general tips to follow. First, the maximum weight capacity is 20 pounds. That goes for gas and for charcoal. Second, any recipe that calls for indirect heat will be great on a rotisserie. Third, you want to make sure that you tie down the food. This will help keep it rotating smoothly throughout the rotisserie process. Fourth, cooking times and temperatures will be the same if you're using rotisserie or not. And fifth, always make sure you use two barbecue mitts. The spit is going to be warm when you're taking it off the grill and you want to make sure you have two to be safe. Now that we've talked about some general tips, let's go prep our food for putting it on our grill. Now let's talk about prepping your meat and make sure you choose it wisely. If it looks lopsided, be prepared to use butcher's twine to truss it tightly. For instance, if you're cooking chicken, tie the legs and the wings tight against the body to make a uniform shape. To put the meat on the spit, position one set of the forks on the far end of the spit and slide the spit into the opening between the neck and the knotted twine through the chicken and out the other side. Slide the other set of fork prongs onto the spit and drive the prongs into the back of the chicken. Make sure the chicken is centered on the spit before tightening the fork prongs into place. It is a good idea to check how the food will rotate on the rotisserie before heating the grill up. If you're noticing a problem, adjust the food accordingly. When using a gas grill, remove the cooking grates and warming rack. This will create more room inside your grill. Place a large drip pan directly on the flavorizer bars and preheat your grill to 5 to 600 degrees. Then turn down the grill to a medium indirect heat. Place the rotisserie spit into the food and position it inside your grill. Close the lid, turn on the rotisserie motor, and cook to your desired temperature. Remove the cooking grates and the warming rack to allow your food to turn freely. After a period of non-use, before lighting the rotisserie burner, a few seconds must pass for the gas supply line to fill. When using the snap igniter, you will see a flash of flames moving from left to right across the rotisserie burner surface. The rotisserie burner is not lit until the entire ceramic surface is aflame. At this point, start a count of 20 seconds before releasing the rotisserie burner control knob. The rotisserie burner surface will glow red once the burner is fully ignited. Note the IR burner is not intended for use throughout the entire cooking process. Preheat the grill, Turn to medium heat and place the food on the actual rotisserie inside the motor. Make sure you use the IR burner for 20 to 30 minutes to help caramelize the outside of your food. The IR burner is a heat source that pushes radiant heat directly over the food for a more effective caramelization. Turn off the IR burner and finish the cooking process with an indirect heat. 
Now remember, whenever you're checking for doneness, make sure you turn the motor off and always use a digital meat thermometer. Finally, make sure you use your two barbecue mitts. The spit is going to be warm when you're taking it off the grill and these mitts are critical. Now hopefully in this video we've been able to teach you some tips and techniques on how to use a rotisserie on a Weber gas grill. If you have any other questions, please refer to your owner's manual, find us here on Weber.com or call our customer service at 1-800-446-1071. Happy grilling!